Hello and welcome. I think I have time to record one more video, so let's start working on the delete function here. So when you are clicking on the delete here, I just wanna delete data from the database. So let's see how it is going to work. Before we delete something, it should show a confirmation, like are you sure you wanna delete it? So we will use just the JavaScript confirm here. We have our function called delete product and it's going to send the ID for us and here is the function we have here. So how you confirm people? Of course you can use JavaScript, but in future videos I'm going to use the suite alert if you have ever used that before. So you can say confirm and you can ask them, are you sure? If the confirmation click, if someone click on the OK, it means yes, which which is true and this is going to be a true function, the true if condition and otherwise it is going to be falsy so if something good happens so if they click on the ok it is going to run or display the document id for now so if i come here to our application and click on the delete here you have the confirmation are you sure you cancel it nothing happened if you click on the ok it's going to give you the id which means you can take the id of the document you have and you can delete the same document from your database so if you go to the documentation here is the delete from database this is the code so i will copy this one and i will customize it for myself all the way down there so for now what it is going to do is it's going to use our database connection it is going to say uh, which collection you want your data you can say products and which document this is when you write your doc so this is going to be the document id which come from the function and you pass it here you delete it if it is going to delete successfully you're going to console.log document deleted uh, otherwise you are going to give us an error so let us save it for now and see if it work coming to our data here let us delete the test with the price of 10 you click on the delete you click on the ok and yes in the console.log you have deleted the data it I still appear here because it is not a real-time database so it should refresh but that is what we do in the future video for now if I come to the database it should be gone from there so let's delete some more data click on this one okay this one okay this one okay how many you have deleted four if you come here you can see the decrease from here so you can delete some other here for now of course the real time is not working but in the future video we will fix this one it should work in real time so if you come here yeah everything was deleted and we did it from here if you click again it is going to give you successful error because it does not exist but it is going to be a success method uh, here so i hope it has been informative that was a short video and the mm, future video of course we'll use some nice technique for deleting confirmation and stuff like that and uh, next up we will have the edit so see you in the next video